Uh, hi guys, um, I decided I'm going to try to build a homemade foundry here and so I can melt down aluminum cans and I got hold of a couple of these uh, propane tanks and uh, I'm not sure of the volume of it, I don't see it written on it or anything but it's uh, it's a size up from your, your normal uh, grill propane bottle I guess and I had two of them, uh, the first one I turned into a rocket stove here um, my wife and two kids, uh, we like go camping on the weekends, and um, this is going to change everything when it comes to cooking. Um, it's, it's really efficient, just a few sticks, and it's really all it takes to run it, and you get a real good flame. And there's about four inches here, and that's full of uh, perlite insulation. I have a little access door on the back here and what what makes this work is this little air vent that goes under your wood and all the wood gasifies in the front of that and uh, it has a sound like a rocket since it draws so much air and that's where the name comes from but uh, if you guys are interested there's lots of vids on these on YouTube um, check it out all right so uh, f before I go cutting on this um, I need to get the, the valve off, so I left it all the way open for a while, made sure I got all the fumes out that I could, and then, so I stuck this pipe through like this, and then you can put a monkey wrench, a pipe wrench, or whatever you can get on it, um, crack that valve all the way up and do it outside, and um, after you get the valve off, some people light it, but I prefer to um, purge it out with water, filled it all the way up, and drained it out. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut around this thing, and you see where where it starts to bend right here. I went about three quarters of an inch down. Um, set it on a flat surface, and I'm gonna measure up and make marks all the way around this thing, and then kind of connect the dots around it, and uh, we'll see. I'll get that cut off. All right, I just uh, cut the top of this tank off, and um, I took a file to all the edges uh, so I don't get cut. And I got rid of this handle, I'm not going to use it. But uh, the inside of these tanks are filthy and they stink. But uh, if you can see, I took a wire wheel on a drill and I cleaned it up as best I could so my cement will stick. And now I got a little bit of welding to do and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, get my welder fired up. Alright, first thing I'm going to weld here is uh, I need a pipe going down through the lid and... I selected this size right here. It was a chunk of a basement jack and a aluminum can fits down it easily so this is what I'm going to use. And I cut the hole out um, with the grinder. It's hard to cut a round hole with a grinder but there we go. I cleaned it up and I'll be able to weld that up and uh, grind her down a little bit. It'll look nice. Alright guys, I welded the pipe down the middle and I grinded it down, kind of cleaned it up and I also uh, I welded a cap on, uh, welded a hinge on and a kind of heat resistant handle here and what will happen is I'll, I'll be able to open it up and drop cans directly into my crucible and cover it. It'll still let heat out but it'll hold more heat with that smaller port there and this is the um, lid I cut out of uh, what was left over from my other tank off the rocket stove and also uh, what I did on the bottom side I welded in some uh, little rebars and when I mortar all this in uh, that'll hold the mortar from falling out since this is the lid so I'm gonna move on to working on this tank now Alright, I was looking in my uh, scrap pile and I found uh, this chunk, it's pretty heavy steel and it has a round pipe welded inside. 
So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut it off right here, and I'm going to weld it in the center sticking up in the bottom of my tank. And I'll be able to make a platform that will slip inside to set my crucible on so it won't tip over. All right, well, I, uh, I welded this piece of square tubing in the bottom of my tank, and I cut a, a hole in the side of it here. And I've also made this uh, concrete form out of a piece of 8 inch PVC pipe um, with a chunk of wood in the bottom and I countersunk nails all the way around it. Uh, I cut out a square that'll slip over that piece of square tubing. I'm gonna pour about three inches of cement in the bottom and then slip the form over and pour the sides all the way up. And I also I uh, coped out this piece of pipe and it's the proper size for my blower to fit in the end of it and it's going to slip in the side right here uh, right up against that concrete form and I'll weld around the outside of it but uh, the reason it goes in in this direction is uh, the blower is going to get the heat going in a swirling motion all the way out of the top all right, I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to mix up this cement, and I'm just using what I have uh, left over from some jobs. Um, it's some uh, grout and mortar and sand, and uh, you really should use uh, refractory cement, but I don't want to pay that much for that, and I'll see how this holds up. Um, worst case, I'll just report down the road, but I also stuck a handle um, through my form here, and... I'm going to oil it up real good um, before I pour the cement around it so I can slip it out easier.